Did you hear that? Yes. Nearby. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something.
Jane? Squire Paris was all I had in this world. It was not for you to choose. That's all I have to say to you, spirit killer. <sighs> Unless you are looking for work. An angry spirit haunts the woods. His body lies nearby. I require his name and proof that he is dead. Interested? So, an angry spirit, you say? Yes, in the woods. I believe it is a dead hummingbird. This is good. Although I wish I had been the one to kill him. I need his name to cross it from the list. All right. I'll see what I can do. How are you doing? I saw a man's spirit torn from the world. I'm doing just fine. That man used you. For years, he lied to you. He betrayed your people to the men that killed them. He earned his cut, and so shall they, living or dead. I'm ready now. Ready to deliver on their trade. Be careful out there, Jane. Please. No, I don't think I will. May I see your wares? You may even buy them, if you have the coin. I'll leave you then. Good day. Damn this to hell. What news from the woods? Is anyone alive? No news yet on that front. Then I'll ask you to keep looking. Goodbye to you for now, Kate. What do you want? How are you, Daniel? My sister is gone. For the first time, I'm alone in the world. I don't know how I am. But still, I'm doing two people's work now, so there's no time for the sullens. No strength for them, neither. <laughs> they listen to me complaining, eh? When you've done nothing but help me. I tell you what. As a token of my ever-undying gratitude, how's about I sell you my half of the map? 
generous even in his grief. I may be interested. I'll give you a good price. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Goodbye. Good day, Nelly. All the better for your presence, Mr. McRae. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's.
Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McCraith. This would be a better book if it had pictures in. Better still if I knew how to read. <laughs> Your Lordship? Oh. Red. Mr. Scudder. Is your cousin around? I've not seen him in a while. Maybe he's gone to the woods, the safe part. He does that. What does he do in the woods? Checking his traps, I suppose. Not that there's much game. I wish he wouldn't leave me. Mr. Scudder, I suspect a haunting. A haunting? Like a ghost, as in, right here. That's terrible. But who could have? You don't think Beloved is? Can't be. It just can't be. It's not Beloved, is it? Did my cousin die? Your cousin is fine, I think. For now. Oh, good. I'll need to search your house. I... Yes, yes, of course. If you think it important. I'll go take a look at your house now. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm here. He's so naive he didn't imagine he could be haunted. No blood. Beloved's father was a killer on the run, on his way to New Eden. A bad man, but a good father? Seems unlikely. Beloved fears himself doomed to repeat his father's mistakes. He probably will. The apple falls close to the tree. There's nothing more to find here. Scott's busybody! Who died and made you constable? Easy now, Scudder. Your cousin gave me permission to come in. Credence means everything he says, and thinks everyone else does too. What do you want? I'm investigating a haunting. You're haunting, as a matter of fact. 
I don't yet know whose ghost it is, but it'll have good reason to linger. There's no beast here. Get out of my house! No need to be so defensive. What are you hiding, Mr. Scudder? I... N no, you're trying to bewilder me! Out with you! Out of my house! A man is dead, Scudder. His life ended, his body pillaged and buried in a shallow grave. That's not... That's nothing to do with... No! Leave me be! You can't do this to us! From your demeanour, I'm guessing it was your first time. Killing a man, I mean. It... No! I dare not! I can't! I... No! Please... Go! Enough! What foe retribution is this? Son. Oh, oh no! They hanged the old man! They hanged old Jed! The light is doomed! I too shall swing! You must be the boy's father. My son is innocent. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Look to Credence. In your letter, you said you were coming to New Eden. You made it, sort of. What happened? <sighs> I had passage booked to Boston. A captain who asked no questions. And a ship's cook who needed the reward money. The catch poles took me at the dock. Ten days later, they took me up to Gallows Acre. And there I was hanged. For murder? Yeah, for murder, yeah. And all the rest. Murder is no bragging matter. You're a Scot. You ever kill a man? I have, and I'm not proud of it. Aye, there's no pride in killing. Unless you're a judge. And if even that, I have my doubts. Be proud, sir. For you've done what I could not. What of Credence? Why should we look to him? He was a hellion as a baby. And no mistake. Especially after his mum and dad died, and we took him in. I thought him an odd child. But he were happy with my Mary, and sweet too. She loved him. He's a bad one, and probably always was. He hides it better than any rogue, just as he hides the sharpness of his wit. He seems harmless enough. Simple, I dare say. No one must trust an idiot. He chose to look like one, and he's fooling all of you. Beloved needs no snake to lead him astray. I'll cut their bonds and set the boy aright. Are you sure Credence is guilty? It seems far-fetched. I have watched him on his own, unseen. I know about him, for I am one of them, and I tell you with no doubt, so is he. What do you want, Ghost? Why have you come? Beloved is my boy. Yes, we get that. Good of you to visit. Why have you come? We lived in Bristol, barely. Shared a leaky room with other lodgers, all were ill all the time. My wife deserved better. We all did. I gathered every shilling I could and sent the boy, his mother and his cousin, to the colonies. Beloved's my son, and now he's grown. 
I'll make sure he straightens up. So you're here to protect Beloved? Protect him from what? From corruption. From perdition. From my blood that runs in his veins. But most, most of all, I must protect him from corruption by his wily cousin, Credence. It takes a Varden to catch a Varden, and that's how I know Credence is vicious. He has a hiding place in the woods. There, you'll find the proof. Where, exactly? How shall we know this hiding place? There's a small wood cabin, but well hid. West of here, on the heights. A wooden cabin hidey hole, west, got it. You got for murder? Yeah, for murder. Uh huh. Hi. Uh We'll investigate Credence's hideout then. Make our own minds up. I speak the truth. You'll see it. Beloved just learned of his father's death. Maybe we should go to him before searching Credence's hide. Someone's lying. Maybe everyone's lying. Jed's ghost is at once benign and hostile. <laughs>